Hi, I'm Dwayne Siever with Real Milk Paint, and today we want to talk to you about wood wax. Wood wax is a great product for all your cutting boards, your, your uh, counter, wood countertops, your wooden bowls, your, your utensils, all those kind of things that you want a, a vegan friendly wax, something that's non-toxic, that's no VOCs, does not contain mineral oil. So this is made with all natural products. It's actually an edible product. So you don't have to have any fear about putting anything on your material that's not edible. So um, this product is great. It's a drying oil. So once it goes in, it will actually seal and seal out your wood so that it'll be waterproof. Of course, it will wear away over time and you will need some maintenance you know, here and there, but we're gonna actually demonstrate what this looks like and how it darkens up your wood and really brings the life out of your cutting boards and how it's uh, you know perfectly safe to use. So I'll show you what it looks like in here. It's kind of like, I guess, a creamy paste, you know, light colored and um, we're going to go show you what it looks like to apply it on this on this uh, charcuterie board that we have here. Walnut, um, actually kind of a you know center grain walnut with, with the sapwood on the outside. And we're going to show you how this really comes to life. Now my favorite applicator here, and you're gonna, I know you all have one of these somewhere, inside of an old sock. This is my very favorite applicator. I love the pilly form here for uh, being able to pick up the material and spread it around. And uh, show you what it looks like on here. See how that comes off all nice and creamy. And let's see what, how this does. You can see, look at the color just coming out with that right away as we apply it. Bringing out that rich color. One thing, one place you want to play, pay particular attention to is the end grain. If you look at the end grain there, this is a part that's actually very, very absorbent. So it's going to absorb probably three or four more times the amount of product than than this than the side grain of this wood itself. So we'll show you what that what the end grain looks like on here, and we spread that on. One thing that's nice about this particular product it has more body than an oil, and that's because of the carnauba wax that's in here. Carnauba wax actually comes from the uh, the leaf of a palm tree, and when they they actually beat the tree in order to beat the leaves in order to get this wax to come out. And then it's collected into various grades. We use only the highest grade it's called T1 carnauba wax. And then that's mixed with the uh, walnut oil. One people might have, uh, some people might have a concern about walnut oil as far as, okay, what if I'm, what if I'm allergic to nuts? Well, wal because walnut oil is a drying oil, what happens is it polymerizes. And once it polymerizes, then it's no, no longer um, a problem with nut allergies at all. So it, those oils that don't polymerize, like peanut oils and so on like that, those are the ones that usually are, are, are consistent with uh, allergic reactions. So let's go over the rest of this. Try to keep it up here where the camera can see it. You can just see how that color coming out. What we want to do with this is after we oil this, we'd probably want to set it up on top of something, oil both sides, we'll set it up on top and we'll let it sit for a while, you know, 20 minutes in a good warm environment. Um, the warmer it is, this wax is going to be more liquidy, so it's going to soak in better into the grain. And when it soaks in, this will be for your first application. As it soaks in, then you want to add some more. So it wouldn't hurt to do two or three or four coats of this over a day's time. And then once you get it, it feels like it's saturated, then wipe off the excess, whatever does not soak in. Because it is a drying oil, and even though we actually, the way we make this, we cook the oil, which actually speeds up the drying time, uh, but it still takes about anywhere from five to 10 days to really get hard. So what you wanna do is elevate your piece so you have a good airflow all the way around and that, that it'll have a good time to dry. Then once you've done that initial process with the raw wood, then it's just a quick application later, you know, just a quick wipe down for maintenance and then just let it go and usually a real thin application is dry overnight. So I just love how the color really comes out on walnut, one of my particular favorite uh, American hardwoods. Just look at that color from where we started at. That's just got some beautiful color. And, uh, and oils themselves on their own tend to really bring out the color. And this will stay this way now. 
Unlike mineral oils, which tend to dry out over time and, and disappear, and actually since they never dry, you're actually transferring oil, mineral oil, all over the place. So well, I think you'll enjoy wood wax for all of your products for a permanent seal, permanent finish to all of your good uh, wooden cutting board items and things you want to feel that are safe for your family and friends to use right away. Thank you so much. <laughs>